snazzy dazzy day everyone so just looking at the major and minor chords uh the triad chords that is i just noticed another pattern so basically this red on the treble cl bass clef would be this on the treble clef right and then this on the bass clef would be e on the treble clef d on the bass clef is b flat on the treble clef a flat on the bass clef is f e flat is c and then uh, b flat is g on the treble clef um, f is d on the treble clef c on the bass clef is a on the treble g on the bass clef is uh, e on the treble um, b on the bass clef is or D on the bass clef is B on the treble. D on the bass clef is F sharp on treble. E on the bass clef is C sharp on the treble clef. And then B on the bass clef is G sharp on the treble. And then F sharp is D sharp on the treble clef. And C is A on the treble clef. So C on the bass clef, the major on the bass clef is the minor on the treble clef, basically. And then also, for your middle note in the minor scales, um, that would be the name of the major scale. So check it out. A flat minor would be C flat major. E flat minor would be G flat major. And then B flat minor would be D flat major. F, uh, A flat minor would be A, or F minor would be A flat major, right? And then E flat for E flat major, B flat, F, C major with zero, and then G major has your one sharp, right? Just like E minor, D major, and A major, E major. Um, e major has your four sharps, and then B major with the five sharps, six sharps, and then seven sharps, um, F sharp, and then C sharp major, right? So always look at the middle letter to figure out what the major chord is that has the same key signature as that minor chord, right? And then also another uh, pattern with both the major and the minor chords would be that the last letter in each chord is basically the name of the chord with one uh, more sharp or one less flat in it. So for instance, um, this would be seven flats, right? C flat major. And then G flat major would be six flats. D flat major would be five, A flat major would be four, E flat major would be three, two flats, one flat, zero flats or sharps would be C major, G major with um, one sharp, D major, A major, E major, B major, F sharp major, and then C sharp major, right? Then, of course, we can't go up more than seven sharps. I mean, we could, but, you know, for the basic music scales up to seven sharps, right? Without the double sharps and flats and all that crap. So yeah, and then looking at the minor scale, the same thing is true as well. So E flat, uh, this would be seven flats, A flat minor, E flat would have six flats, right? Five flats, four flats, three flats, two flats, one flat, zero flat, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, for your A minor scale, right? And then E would be one sharp, your minor scale with one minor chord with one sharp, two sharps, three sharps, four sharps, five sharps, six sharps, seven sharps. And we can't really go up more than that unless you were to do the same, you know, fancy smancy, you know, advanced music stuff with the double flats and sharps. But we're not going to go there. Right. Or at least I haven't gotten there yet. So, yeah, basically, last so the letter of a triachord is the name of the minor or major chord with one less flat or one more sharp in it. The middle letter is the name of, of a minor chord is the name of the major chord with the same key signature. And then of course this uh, red on uh, the bass clef, right, would be your minor chord on the treble clef. So there's that. Um, so yeah, swanky patterns and snazzy times.